I mean, there's so many things about AI that just don't make sense. They're like, like from a, from a, from so many, on so many levels, from a business level, it doesn't really make sense. Except if you have a very, very short term uh, profit mindset of a Western capitalist, mm-hmm. which is I can have a computer to do it. So I don't have to pay someone to do it. Yeah. The computer will do it for free. Mm-hmm. I have to pay this month, monthly subscription. Uh, and that's much, much cheaper than having to pay two or three or four or 15 employees or an entire department. I'll have just this one a- a- AI program will do it. So in your very short term, stupid, uh, let me just save money and cut corners thinking. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense in long term at all. The The nations, the countries, the individuals who maintain their own skills independent of any AI supplement mm-hmm. of any AI enhancement uh, uh, and, and are completely independent from a dependency upon AI. These are the people who will rule the world. AI is going to absolutely destroy your, your society because you really will. And you already are. I mean, it's only been out for the public for like less than a year. Okay. Like ChatGPT has been, as far as I know, anyway, my knowledge of it has been less than a year. And people are already dependent on it. Like like now, Twitter is full of people saying it's down, it's down, it's down, it's down. They're in panic. I see. In a panic mode. Okay. And it's not just people who, you know, who want to just do silly stuff on ChatGPT. There's people who are doing it for business. Okay. Who are using it for business. You can't function without it. You know, and it's not even just about uh, uh, when when chat GPT goes down, when your AI goes down, whichever one it is. The point is. You don't know how to do stuff anymore. You, you're, you're going to become a people who don't know how to do anything. Anymore. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, there will still be people who know how to do things. So you're going to destroy your society with this. Yeah, it's it's just going to deteriorate if you if you're already having if you're already having an unthinking society to begin with, and that's going to lap up the the AI. Mm-hmm. And then once you subject yourself to that, then plus it's finished. So so you've already you you already uh, imposed a level of mediocrity on your population to where AI actually seems like it's not mediocre. Actually, seems is is actually people are impressed by it. Because it's able to do what mediocre minds are able to do. Uh, and now that's going to make even those mediocre minds not be able to do what they could do before. So that means the, the quality level of everything will just go down and down and down and down and down. Meanwhile, in other places, they don't act like that. Mm-hmm. China isn't, isn't acting like that. Yeah, contrary to... For example, yeah. Russia takes, takes education seriously. Mm-hmm. China takes education seriously. In the global south, generally, they take education very seriously. It's, you're, it's deadening. Yeah. You're, you're killing people. Yeah. You're really killing people. You're killing the, what it is to be a human because you don't value it anyway. Because you, this this whole society just views you as a resource. Uh-huh. The whole society only views you as a resource. Human beings only as a resource. And so, therefore, you can be replaced. Yeah, sure. Because we only see you as as a function. Mm-hmm. The, the society only sees you, it sees human beings as a function to the economy. So if that function can be replaced, then you are superfluous. And I, 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 I think this uh, sensibility is also lost when you, when you just become over reliant on AI because you don't even know how people speak anymore. You don't, yeah. you, you don't even have the, that sense of, you know, again, it's a type of sensibility, you know, to, to detect. Like deviant. But, 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 you know, this, this, the, 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 this is about sort of originality and independence or individuality, mm-hmm. originality and individuality. And we were already talking about how America specifically through, uh, mass media has already very much destroyed that. Because like if you go onto social media and you see, uh, you know, actual people, individual people, uh, doing their posts on social media, they're trying to sound like somebody. They're trying to talk like somebody. They're trying to look like somebody. They're trying to act like somebody. Mm-hmm. Someone who's on a TV show. Mm-hmm. They're trying. Their their humor is from they they learned it from a sitcom. They're trying to act like this character from this show mm-hmm. or that character from that show. And 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 there's these 
uh, speech patterns that they use mm -hmm. that are directly from sitcoms. Mm -hmm. the, the speech patterns are directly from sitcoms. The, the facial expressions, the gestures, the everything. None of this. You don't know how you talk. I don't know how you, I don't know who you really are and neither do you. You don't know what you really sound like. You don't know what your real voice sounds like. You know, you don't know what your real sense of humor is because you've never discovered it. All you're doing is, is copying yeah, what you see, yeah. you know, and it, it reminds me of something that, that, that actually, uh, this is really, really a different kind of a live stream today. Mm -hmm. We're not talking geopolitics. Uh, Miles Davis, the trumpeter, jazz trumpeter, although he disliked the, the term jazz, uh, he was in an interview and someone was asking him about like for new uh, people that he works with uh, uh, musicians that he works with does he require them to know like the history of jazz and to like know his earlier works right. and Charlie Parker and you know Thelonious Monk and so on all of these these and and he was he said no the lazy ones uh, can play like them the lazy ones try to play like the way we used to play mm. Uh, but you shouldn't actually listen to a lot of records if you want to be a good musician. You, if you want to be original, you shouldn't listen to a lot of records. You shouldn't be familiar with a lot of music exactly. if you want to be original, because you've got to find what you do, mm. you know? Mm. And that's really true. And not just about music, about yourself, mm. about your voice, about your opinions, about your the way that your expression, the way you express yourself. The way you articulate yourself, mm -hmm. your humor, you know, mm -hmm. like, like we really lost something in terms of individuality and originality. People really lost something with the invention of mass media. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it became like, I mean, when I was a kid, it was, we just had three channels and they were uh, operating from this time to that time. So that, so it wasn't like 24 hours a day all the time with hundreds of channels available. We just had three channels mm -hmm. from like, you know, five in the morning to, Midnight, something like that. Okay. Uh, so, so you know, and then in my mother's generation or my grandfather's generation, you only ever, ever see actual people. Mm -hmm. Your only interactions with people are actual people. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't watch TV. You don't have it. It doesn't exist. Maybe you go see a movie a couple of times a year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you never uh, pick up this habit. This it, It's an... It's an um, I don't want to say involuntary, but it's like by osmosis. Mm. You absorb what you are exposed to at all times. And so you start to act like the people you see on TV. You start to talk like the people you see on TV. You know, yeah. it used to be, it used to be, uh, you act like your dad. Yeah. You act like your uncle. Mm -hmm. You know, the people who are really around you, mm -hmm. where you really come from. Mm -hmm. You, you learn to act like them. Mm -hmm. But then your peers now became people on a screen. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, so you don't even know what you sound like. And that's why now AI can sound like you, because you already sound like AI. That's what they've done to you. They've destroyed you. They've destroyed this, this land of, you know, that the, the talks about independence and originality and innovation and mm -hmm. the individual and all of that. You've destroyed the individual. Mm -hmm. You've turned everybody into a mold. Yeah. So you, so the same way that kids, uh, back in my day anyway, mm -hmm. Uh, start to act just like just like how we always talk about you know uh, so and so uh, fell into uh, a wrong group of friends you know yeah. hung out with the wrong guys or whatever so then they started to act bad and so on and so on okay well that that friend group is now YouTube yeah Netflix mm -hmm. TV you know so you're you're the same way that if it was an actual friend group you start to act like those people the same thing happens with this you start to act like them that's why. I don't know who any of these people are. I can see that you're you're imitating a kind of a pastiche of uh, um, sitcom characters, actors and actresses that you've watched. You're trying to do the facial expressions and the you know. Yeah. It's it's very depressing to me. Yeah. I, I I can't I can't do that. I can't even look at social media because it's so depressing to me. Yeah. What what ha has happened to human beings? Right. That like like you you don't you don't even know who you are. Like I said, you don't know who you are. You don't know what you sound like. You don't know what your voice is. You don't know what your thoughts are. You know. Yeah. You don't know what your real humor is, or even if you have a humor, you just think that because it's because of uh, uh, sitcoms and everything, 
you're supposed to have a certain kind of, you know, yeah, quasi witty, sarcastic, uh, jaded, yeah, you know, yeah. That that that's you don't a, know what your personality is. Yeah, that's a that's a again that's a, that's a trend in, uh, again like expressions and thinking or or just the mood that you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It's all created by the media. Mm -hmm. I think what's uh. I mean, some, someone's saying here, uh, Fatima K is mm -hmm. saying that, uh, when we start and when we are in the learning process, the first step is imitating. I don't think we can bypass it. We're not talking about. No, you don't have to bypass it. Yeah, we're not saying, we're not saying that. But you, you should know. imitate people, actual, actual people, people yeah. presume, uh, uh, hopefully good people, good, hopefully people in your family. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, that, that, there's not a problem about imitation. Yeah, I think the element of the soul. You know, that I mean, if you're imitating someone, sorry to interrupt yeah, you, sorry, yeah. but, but if you're imitating someone who is someone whom you come from, yeah, your own people, your father, your mother, your uncle, your older brother, your older sister, yeah, your th you, you can find really who you are. Yeah. There's a kind of a heritage that you inherit, you know, when yeah. you, when you carry that type of interaction. Yeah. On. Like when I was, okay, when I was a kid, in my lifetime, there was no software. That wasn't even a word we didn't have. There wasn't software. There wasn't hardware. Well, there was hardware, but that meant a hammer. Uh, and you were destined for whatever you had skill in. That, those were your career options. Your choices for life were dependent on what skills you had, what talents you had, and how hard you could work and so forth. And it wasn't possible for me, for example, to think about being a model or to think about being a singer or to think about being, you know, uh, I don't know, an athlete. But now, apparently, anybody can be anything. Mm -hmm. Even if you were not born to look like a model, you can buy a model's face and become a model. Even if you can't sing, you can buy auto-tune software and sing. Right. You know, mm -hmm. even if you're not an athlete, you can take enhancement, performance yeah, enhancement, yeah. enhancing drugs. Mm -hmm. And you take steroids. Like you can become this. You're not, you don't have what it takes to be a bodybuilder to actually do it. Mm -hmm. So you can just inject yourself yeah. and get it. Yeah. And meanwhile, some, some, you know, apparently skinny looking guy comes, comes to the gym and, and lifts all of the heavy weight, you know, the weight. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, Right, yeah. because there are actual people who can actually do things. Right. And those used to be the only people that we would see doing those things. Mm -hmm. It used to be. I mean, I remember, I remember, I was telling you about this before, I've mentioned it a few times. I don't remember what boy band it was, mm -hmm. but there was some boy band that was making all kinds of excuses for a terrible performance. They had a terrible off-key performance. This is many years ago, so no one will, you all won't know what boy band I'm talking about. I, even I can't remember. They're interchangeable anyway, mm -hmm. but they did, they had a terrible performance and, uh, they're, uh, they were making excuses and their manager was making, their agent, whatever was making excuses. Their head, their uh, earpiece wasn't working. Right. And, you know, they have dance moves that they have to do and right. stuff. Uh, you've heard of the Isley brothers, you know, mm -hmm. you heard Jackie Wilson, mm -hmm. you know, James Brown, uh, and, and any of the other, you know, great yeah. performers of the past. Who were dancing and singing, no earpiece. You just do it because you're good at that. That's yeah. the thing you're good at. That's why you're the one on stage. Yeah. If you're not someone who can do it without the earpiece and you don't know how to sing and also perform at the same time, well, you're in the wrong business. Exactly. You're supposed to be shelving things on the grocery store. You know? Yeah. It used to it used to actually be that you have to have talent in order to reach some kind of a level. Mm -hmm. Now You've got so many people that they don't have talent. They don't even have, they're not even born with the looks. And they get the, they, they inject themselves with the looks and they have the pieces and the parts put inside of them to where they, they, they look a certain kind of way that they were, were not born to look like. So it's like this, this level of entitlement of really, I can be whatever I want to be, literally. Yeah. Without actually earning it at all without merit yeah without merit at all yeah so again this is an example of the it's just an extension of the ai conversation mm -hmm. because now you can also have ai write books for you that you author so-called author and ai wrote the whole thing mm -hmm. so now you're an author who can't write you've got singers who can't sing 
dancers who can't dance, athletes who can't do athletics, mm -hmm. and this is your society. Meanwhile, there are societies in the world where they don't do that, mm -hmm. where you actually do have to have the skill, you actually do have to have the talent, you actually do have to have the intelligence, you know? Mm -hmm. You actually have to have the craftsmanship to do this or that or the other. Those are the societies that will get ahead. This this approach, this very short-term artificial is the right word, this very short-term artificial approach is not going to win in the long run. You're You're dooming your society. You really are.